morning. Today we're bringing you something slightly different from the norm, but not completely different from the norm. South Wales scares us. We may have mentioned before. Have a look at Rail Map Online, zoom into South Wales, and you'll see exactly what we mean. One of the things that kept on popping up and I kept on zooming back to was an old tram road. Um, you can see that by these yellow marked lines. But kept on propping up with um, tunnel and tunnel and tunnel on a tram line, a tram road. So we thought that would be worthy of us um, having a quick peek whilst we do some other every issue stations from the same area. So the whole purpose of today was to explore the tram road and also explore all the notes which said tunnel. And so straight away, success. Which I believe is the land foist or fan foist um, incline tunnel, which is quite a piece of engineering, isn't it? Look at that. It looks pretty good. I yeah, it's amazing. It. Um, so this is quite a uh, easy find actually, because we just walked up the hill from where we parked down below. So access to canal that way, up the steps, access to the footpath up onto the hill through the tunnel. So Canal Explored, we're going in. So you join us, walking up um, what we think is part of the hills tram road. Just down there is the canal, the Brecknock and something <laughs> canal. Um, so as I said earlier, every time we looked in this vicinity for what railway lines we could look at, it kept on cropping up with the hills tram road. Um, quite a little maze of um, tram roads all over the Blorange mountain range. Um, we did a little bit of research, couldn't find huge amounts apart from the obvious Wikipedia bits. Um, it turns out this was built around um, I think 1818, 1819, 1820 um, by the guy that ran the forge the other side of the mountain and he wanted to connect I think some quarries, the forge, the canal just down the hill there. Um, using the tram road. Now this incline, I think this inline, incline, being so blooming steep, was done connected using um, counterbalance. I guess I'm not a uh, counterbalance expert, but I get the principle and the idea. And that's this bit. This is the Hanfoist incline, and subsequently tunnel at the bottom, which goes under the canal, which you probably just saw, which is lovely. It's so, quite an incline. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got three more tunnels on this tram road to find today. <laughs> yeah, Rebecca's just pointed out something really obvious, which is there's plenty of information boards around here, um, which we've just taken pictures of and walked on.
So saying that we haven't done a great deal of research other than Wikipedia or there wasn't a great deal of information is a load of old rubbish really because um, clearly there's loads of information boards which we should have used. Hidden away, not too far from where we came up back there, hidden away is the tunnel. This is tunnel number two. I'll save it remains, I don't know, so we're not going to stay any long. Um, we've brought the wrong footwear, and so we haven't got our ways and therefore we can't go in this bit because obviously it's around about a foot deep in water there so we're going to go up from the other end and have a look because you can get in a bit further there Tunnel number two complete. We are going to head back to Lanfoist to the car and we're going to drive to tunnel number, there, tunnel number three, which we think is next to the forge down the other end. We're not going to walk the two kilometres from this one uh, on account that we're getting quite wet now, we're tired, and we don't want the huge walk back to the car later on. Uh, so we're going to cheat a little bit. And then we've got the last tunnel, which we can probably also drive to the ends. Uh, Foldu, I want to say Foldu. Could be pronouncing that completely wrong. Feldu Tunnel. Um, onwards. Right, so we just parked up there. Tramway runs from that way, which is where we were. Funky old building, which we'll have a look at in a bit. Tramway runs from over there and across there, underneath the telegraph poles. Um, we're taking the official footpath just to the south of that and we're going to try and get to um, <coughs> number three. tunnel number three <coughs> which ran alongside apparently the forge right it's almost like you see that way tramway it's almost like the tramway just disappeared here um, goes off the edge of a little um, cliff whatever there um, it's like we're in the middle of some quarry works, but I th we were looking for the forge. Right, we were just about to walk back the way we came. That way, that's Rebecca. Yeah. Just walk back the way we came, because we were thinking maybe it was a little bit further where, where we were, and we've just seen a wall up there. So we are thinking, there's a big bit of metal sticking out as well. So we're thinking that could well be it, because we know that it was a, po I read that it was a pointless tunnel, as in, why build it? Because it was a cut and cover. We haven't got to the ends either end yet, but that's kind of cool. Yeah. Let's go find the ends. I'll take some pics as well. Um, yeah, there's a clear archway. Uh, this obviously all is caved in completely, but right there is stone, masonry stone. That's what I could see through the other hole. Yeah. 
Well, you can definitely see the brickwork. You can see a few, actually. But yeah, it's a big collapse. I'm going to walk along this bit here, if you know what I mean. Yep. I mean, these bits are obviously all... Just be careful, you end up down a hole. Yeah. That's a real shame, I guess because it's a dangerous, right, we think the foundry was there, the entrance should be there, um, it comes down like that, so it has to be there, that is the tunnel, we're sure of that. Okay. okay, well that's tunnel number three. I'm a bit gutted really because both ends are clearly blocked off and there's loads of pictures you know we got 4G so, so look now there's loads of pictures online of that tunnel I guess too many claps meant it's unsafe so they had to close it perhaps right tunnel number four if you can see the white house two white houses in the distance that's where the entrance is to tunnel number four the Faldu tunnel So what's, what's fascinating about this tunnel entrance, which is just there, is for me, two things. Number one, the distance. So in that tunnel right there, the other entrance is a mile and a quarter away. That's madness. 8,000 feet That's great. through that tunnel there into that hill. I mean, who built that? How many died? Probably unaccounted because I guess they it's didn't crazy. record that kind of detail. But one and a quarter mile tunnel built in 1820-ish. Madness. And the second fascination for me is the fact that the other entrance is probably another 100 yards that way. So not the entrance to the other end of the tunnel, but inside the tunnel it's split into two, like a mine almost. And there was another entrance just over there. I think that was uncovered in 1999. They dug a big hole and dug down to it to try and sort of um, do a bit of an archaeological dig on it. But then it looks like they just better cover it back up again, yeah. which is really strange. Um, anyway, we're going to try and get some shots from the tunnel entrance. I've got my torch. Let's see what we can do. So this is the end of the um, Four Tunnels of the Hills Tramway video. Not a bad finish either. Not a bad finish, that's really good shots we got in that tunnel. Obviously we're never going to get in there because it's a 200 year old tramway tunnel. Um, but that was an enjoyable day wasn't it really? It was, yes. Yeah, that Tiring, was really hard work, but very enjoyable. <laughs> yeah, so we managed to get inside two tunnels. We third tunnel we couldn't find, the entrance is two, we think they're blocked off. And the fourth tunnel, 
What a sight that is. Marvelous. That's so cool, the, the engineering that went into that. I love that. Yeah. Right, so um, that's us for today. We've got a few more videos coming over the next few days. Well, not the next few days at all, next few weeks. Um, because we're filming in the next few days from the lovely South Wales. We're going into South Wales a bit further. But um, yeah, anyway, every issue station um, and a few other tunnel videos as well because there's so many around here and that works for us. Right, so we shall um, say goodbye. Don't forget to check out everything. Check out the website, paulwarwick.co.uk or everydistribution.station.co.uk. Uh, don't forget to check out our Patreon site. Don't forget to check out, um, if you want to follow us on Twitter, at Paul Whitewick, at R Whitewick. Um, all the usual blurb. And like and subscribe. And do like and subscribe and comment and ask questions and everything. And we will um, see you next time. Right, we think we're going to title this video Paul and Rebecca Puff a lot. <laughs> That's it. And we just have clips of us going. <laughs>